Open your Bibles quickly to Isaiah 66, verse 2. All these things my hand has made. So all these came to be. Everything that has manifested to us so far, it was because the hand of the Lord participated in the success of this ministry. All these things came to be because the hand of the Lord caused it to be. Declares the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look. In other words, you've had great success. You've come this far. But the ones that is going to have my favor in the future in the days to come. Forget about the past. All this you enjoyed till today was the hand of the Lord. But, he's, he's adding a word but there. But this is the one to whom I will look. Meaning, don't just lean on your past successes. Don't lean on your past spirituality. Don't lean on the grace of the last season. But this is the one to whom I will look. Whose my eyes will locate. On whom my mercy will descend. Upon whom my eyes shall locate. Who is it? He who is humble. And contrite. In spirit and trembles at my word. Three things that will take you through 2022. Three things that will take you to years to come. He who is humble. Humility. God raises the humble. A spirit of offense is the absence of humility. If you find yourself getting offended somewhere in your heart, my brother, my sister, pride has entered. Before the Lord can spit you out of his mouth, Humble your heart Amen. and say, Lord, when the storm arrives, I need to stand. And that can only happen if I stay humble. Your humility will draw the attention of God on your life. Contrite in spirit. Somebody that is remorseful of the fact that they have not pursued God enough. You know, child of God, there's something that the enemy does is that you become familiar with God that now you're so far from God and you have no remorse in your spirit. God is speaking to Israel and he speaks through Jeremiah and says, only acknowledge your guilt. Do you know what is worse? What is worse than you committing a sin? Is not feeling guilty about it. You live a life that doesn't please God. And you don't even care about the judgment of the Lord. You have no fear. Let that change from tonight. May you be somebody that fears God so much. That's how the smallest thing you do will bother you 
so long until your spirit corrects that which is not right. How can you go on so far from God and not let it bother you? How long has it been that you've not picked up the word of God and it doesn't bother you? How long you've been living in sin? With your eyes, with your ear, with your thought, but it doesn't bother you and you go to sleep and you're not even worried about whether I have lost the presence of God. Child of God, do you think that it is an accident you are hearing me right now? No. God is raising you up. He's building you. He's lifting you. He has seen you. He has located you. It's going to take you far. He's going to give you success in every way. But he wants you to have a certain character in your spirit. And when you fight with your husband, when you fight with your wife, you don't take three days to settle. You are quick to get back with each other. Not because she is right or you are wrong or he is perfect or she is not perfect. No, 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 no. It is because you fear God. My dear, I, I let you be right and I let me be wrong because I want peace in my house. This is a God-fearing family. Fear of God. How can you go on the entire day and not talk to your only dear wife that God gave you as your helper and you talk with everybody else and yet you come home and you act like nothing has happened and you hold on to unforgiveness you hold on to offense and now you expect God to bless you what kind of foolishness is that that God must forgive you and yet you withhold forgiveness that God must bless you but yet you do not bless child of God we live in end times the return of the Lord is very 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 near we do not have time to play games. It is a time for us to have great, great, great reverence. And say, I do not do this because I can. I do this for one reason. I want to remain in the heart of God. Nothing else matters. If I have found favor in your eyes. Show me your ways. Heavens are open above us. These are your people, Lord. These are your people. Condition number three. Number one is what? Number two is what? Number three is what? And trembles at my word. And trembles. God is saying, upon whom my eyes are, are those that take my word so seriously. And when the word comes, you are not receiving it the way others are receiving. You receive it with great reverence, with great attention, and with great remorse for the lack of it in your life with great humility and quick response to the word is going to draw great blessings in 2022. 2022 in middle of troubles 
in a strange year if you can take time to open your bible if you can take time to locate god's voice in the bible the lord his eyes will locate you and he will give you a supernatural strength that others around you will not have so when you see many fail many being shut down god will give you strength amen will give you your leg strength of an antelope he give your forehead the strength of an oxen and i hear the lord say in the middle of trials i will give you triumph yeah. joshua 1 was 8 the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it for then then everybody say then yeah. mm. then you will make your way prosperous yeah. verse 9 have i not commanded you now the third time be strong and courageous but i feel weak is not an excuse I don't know what to do is not an excuse. They look like big giants is not an excuse. It looks like this is my last day is not an excuse. Let the weak say If you are weak you have no excuse. You have no excuse. I feel weak. You have no excuse. I don't feel like I can do this. Still no. What does it say? Let the weak say, I am strong. Because now you're not functioning in your natural strength. Now you're functioning in the spirit. Listen. I waited for you because I want you to see that it is in your scripture. It is not something you learned in Sunday school. It is written that weak people are supposed to declare that they are strong. So if you're weak 2022 you shall not be weak anymore. Let the weak say Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. The Lord has told you three times now. Three times. You have to remember this. Amen. Verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Are you ready for the next line? Yes. Do not be frightened. My goodness. You're wondering, God, what is Joshua about to face? that means there are frightening things ahead of you there are things that will scare you things that will they will say ah we have found a new new giant this giant is bigger than the last giant oh okay but i have a command in my spirit Some of you they could not scare you with the last giant so they will invent new giants. But be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Don't sit at home scared. Don't sit at home what? Scared. Oh, giant. 
giant re listen to this word you will need it and do not be dismayed don't let there be anything that is happening around you that you go what really now you have to be so calm calm as zion steady child of god steady 22 steady you want to have dominion be steady you want to success wherever you go be steady consistently steady something is going to happen for the lord your god is with you wherever you go dominion so 2022 is a year of the diligent and the diligent shall have great dominion amen so keep the fellowship keep the love keep the humility you will need it keep the forgiveness you will have success wherever you go yes. multiply the fire yes. whoever enters your house let them be caught by fire yes. whoever meets you transfer the fire Oh I look forward to hearing the testimony that your boss now speaks in tongues. <laughs> Woo! Can you imagine? Your boss used to say, "Hey, do you want to go for a smoking break?" Now you're going to be like, "Hey, do you want a tongues break?" <laughs> you go into the conference room and go, "Sharenda maseke lorote." <laughs> wherever you go means wherever you go so don't go to places where god will not be seen ah i lost you there some weddings you know after after a while the wedding is no more the way it started now alcohol is now taking care of the wedding you have to know that's a place where the spirit of the lord is going to immediately tell you my son my daughter you have too much grace exit this environment before you lose the favor of the lord no ah, yeah 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 they will plan special after parties job parties eh hey, you need to tell them i yo oh, i'm i'm very 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 busy I have to go up a very tall place a high place yes. Yes. If I leave about now it's going to take me 3 hours I really wish to be part of this but maybe another time Because I have an appointment with something very very important Yes He's the diplomat of the diplomats He is the government of the governments. He is the king of all kings. He is the Lord. Oh! 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 Yes, 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 my lady, you're very attractive, but I have to go. <laughs> oh, you look like the one I'm supposed to marry, but I know in my spirit I have to go. <laughs> you look like the resume that I was looking for, but my spirit says flee. So I am different. I'm different. I cannot do everything that everyone does. Because wherever I go, I will have success. So I think different, I act different, I do different and I shall have dominion in Jesus right now. The enemy will not be able to coax you to do things that will make you lose the favor of the Lord. The enemy will not manipulate your emotions and feelings to make you do things that will make you lose the favor of the Lord. When you go in you shall be blessed. And when you go out you shall be blessed. All the work of your hands shall be blessed. Where you go the Lord shall go ahead of you. Your humility before the Lord shall constantly raise you up and up and up in the mighty name 
of Jesus. One more time, Happy New Year.